Hand loaders, bullet casters, welcome back to my bench. So the topic here today, my friends, is volume measure density. Why do we have it? Why does Lee talk about it? What's the purpose? Lee seems to be kind of doing their very own thing. Or are they? I don't know. I don't want to get too far off into the weeds in it. This book right here, Modern Reloading by Mr. Richard Lee, is going to give you an incredible amount of information about this concept. But I want to go over two items within understanding the volume measure density and why it might be helpful to us as hand loaders. So Lee he has a really cool cheat sheet that sort of lets you figure out what an approximate charge weight would equal with a particular powder measure setting. Maybe it's a particular disc you're using on a disc measure or maybe one of those dippers like you saw earlier. As an example, one of my favorite pistol powders is Accurate Number 5. I might be working up a new load for a different firearm and maybe my starting load needs to be right there about 4.8 grains okay so i know that i'm safe if i adjust my powder measure to 0.3 cc's or i use a dipper that is calibrated to 0.3 cc's so the only thing that's left to do for this first point now is to test it let's see if it works i think i would like to start with bullseye it's a pretty common powder that we use it's been around forever Lee's got some pretty good data on it. I would like to test all the way to 4 cc's, which should give us 37.6 grains, according to this little cheat sheet. Now, just a disclaimer, folks, this is entirely too much bullseye for anything except for a disaster. But it's great for doing a real simple test. We get a large sample. That should really help us see the bigger picture. So what I would like to do here with a well calibrated scale is I want to take an average of five charge weights of four cc's from this Lee Deluxe powder measure. We'll just see what we get. I think it's better to do an average than to just do one or two. I don't know if I can fit a fifth in here. Five, there we go. It's it's pretty full, but it fit. Let's see what we get. What does five of them equal? 180.9. Now we'll just divide that by five. And that gives us 36.18. We'll just call it 36.2 grains at 4 cc's. We were supposed to get 37.6. That's 1.4 grain difference. Let's just throw one charge together and see how accurate our little average was. Yeah, 36.3. I, I would say that's, that's pretty close. But this brings me to my second point, my second topic of interest. If we really want that one-tenth of a grain accuracy, then we have to do the math. And fear not, because Mr. Richard Lee has also helped us with the formula to figure that out. Because what happens is this data that we have on that slide card, we might not have any idea how long ago it was published. So the density of bullseye back in this day could be slightly different than the density of the bullseye that we have today. So Mr. Lee suggests that we do with a lot of his instruction sheets and his powder manuals and that sort of thing is find out our specific volume measure density, which is ultimately going to be the volume of one single isolated itty bitty little grain of powder. This sounds complicated. It's very simple. All we really and truly need to do is select a CC, which we already have. That's going to be our four CCs. And we're going to divide that by the charge weight, okay? So let's have a little fun. This time we're going to take an average of 10 charges. We're going to do five in, in one measurement and five in another. That's 
we're going to do five more. And One hundred and eighty one even, three hundred and sixty two point three divided by ten, and we get a thirty six point two three average. So it turns out all this math they told us we had to take was good for something. Okay, folks, so we have our VMD. This number here represents one. The volume of one single isolated grain of powder. We come to this by taking our 4cc powder measure, our setting that we used, and we are dividing it by our charge weight, which turned out to be 36.23 grains. Now what does our VMD now do for us? Well, our VMD lets us know the density of our very own specific bottle of powder. We can now take this 0 .1104 VMD, we can multiply it by any grain weight that we desire, and that will give us our powder measure setting. So if I want a starting load at four grains, what I'll do is just simply multiply four grains by the VMD, and this gives us our CC, 0.44 cc's or we can also put our maximum load which will be our five grains and we'll multiply it by our vmd our 0 0.1104.55 cc's so now all we got to do take a measurement of each one to see how accurate it is looks like 3.9 is about where this one started so i would say this is pretty accurate now we're going to jump up to see if we can capture our five grains. So with our powder measure set to 0.55 cc's, let's see if that gives us the five grains, the max charge that we're looking for. 4.9. Uh, I would say that's pretty gum accurate, folks. So now you can know the density of your own powder. And what we'll go ahead and do is we'll just label it. Got a little painter's tape here. VMD 0.1104. I'll now use that number to go ahead and set my powder measure to any charge weight that I desire. I would love to hear some feedback and how it worked out for you. Folks, thank you. Like, subscribe, let me know how it shakes out.